Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, I will explain you how you can uh, run in uh, first person with a uh, camera. So um, actually when I'm talking about camera, I mean those kind of, of camera. Uh, the first idea I got was actually to put it on my chest in order to run with it. And uh, I was using uh, that kind of thing, you know, that kind of thing that you use when you have some, some back issues. And in fact, um, I was then tying it up with ropes like this one uh, to my to my chest. In fact, it's a really bad idea because when you run, in fact, your chest is going on the left, it's going on the right, and then as well um, as you don't have anything in order to uh, let's say uh, pose your camera on, your camera is gonna go up and down like this, and the results uh, is gonna be terrible. So in fact, um, I got the idea of so let me. Uh, show you this. I got the idea of uh, doing it differently and I look uh, through uh, social media uh, video and I found this one where it's explaining how you can um, uh, record good video when uh, you put it within your mouse. So in fact in order to have a good first person when running uh, with camera uh, videos what you need to do is that you need to put that out uh, within your mouse but as you can see the size of the camera is too big so I cannot put it in my mouse so I need to find a way to put it uh, in my mouse so the way normally when you purchase such a camera you get um, many many different uh, components and the one that you need is is the following one right so this one well I can leave this one as well yes Okay, you need this one, and then you need to uh, put it like this. Okay, you need to uh, to put it within it. Yep. Okay, L like this, and then you have many possibilities. Uh, so in order to put it uh, within your mouse, what you can do is that you can use those thing. Uh, here you can decide either you put it on the upper part or on the uh, lower part. So here in my case, I decided. Uh, to put it on the upper part and then all you need to do is mm, like this so of course uh, when you run with it people uh, that you that you see will think that uh, you are crazy but the huge advantage of uh, doing it is that it's not going to be that checky because this upper part is in your mouse so you can somehow control uh, how it is and this part is on your chin so as a result um, it's kind of well stabilized I will show you uh, some videos and the other uh, solution that I prefer the most is uh, when you use actually that kind of ropes it has some drawbacks of course and you put those within yes those within it da -da -da. okay like this so you can use whatever you want it's all a question of uh, comfort because at the end of the day that's something that you're gonna put in your mouth so you need to feel well with it um, the big issue that i found with this one is that it's it's gonna push a little bit your camera which means that your camera may not um, let's say record uh, in the right way, maybe a bit like this, or maybe a bit like this. So you need to be careful. That's why in the video that I just uh, show you, in fact, they are putting the rubber after putting this part and not before like I'm doing here. Okay, and if you put it like this, yes. Okay, and then you can put it within your mouse and this method is really cool uh, it's kind of a nightmare when you run because it means that you cannot do uh, much performances you need to uh, run uh, quite kind of slowly because you need to breathe with your uh, nose and not uh, with your mouse anymore uh, so let me show you how it looks like so here are the different uh, videos that I uh, that I made so for example this one has been uh, recorded with uh, with whoops sorry I'm gonna put it full screen. Maybe better. Whoops. Let's do it like this. Do it like this. Oops. Okay. So as you can see, um, it's a bit shaky. 
but that's okay. I mean, the quality is kind of good. You clearly understand the exercise that I'm doing and, um, and it's okay. So this is with uh, the camera within, uh, within my mouse. Then um, if we go with uh, the other um, the other solution with um, the camera on my on my chin, it uh, looks like uh, like this. So this one I'm not uh, running that much at the moment. So okay, so then I'm just feeling it a little bit. But as you can see, it's a bit it's a bit shaky on the left and and on the right. So it's not like uh, like 100% perfect. Uh, not though that uh, you can adjust those shaky parts over here because you can use software such as a shortcut in order to use filter which is called stabilizer and then as a result uh, you will see that it goes stabilized so for example the video i'm showing you right now has been stabilized with a filter and as you can see so of course it's a bit uh, slower because some image are then removed but as you can see um, it's um, it's not shaky at all anymore so you need to find a good balance when you use the filter analyze in order to get uh, your video which is running uh, smoothly but that's uh, that's possible with a filter name uh, stabilize um, and then let me show you another uh, video so this is the one that i was showing you some minutes ago and this one is with uh, the stabilizer so you will see uh, the big difference when you have it so as you can see, some pictures are removed, but then you have the feeling that uh, the video goes uh, smoothly. So um, some of you may ask, okay, what's the point of running with a camera within your mouse? Uh, the thing is that let's imagine that uh, you have the habit to run at some specific places and you would like to share it with your friend who have no clue about what is this place. Well, definitely you can just go for a small, uh, a small, a small run and then uh, take into video everything that uh, you are having a look at and then uh, post it on social network in order for them to understand that there is a great location uh, where you can run as well if you are a sport trainer and uh, you are looking to share the different exercises that you would like uh, to show uh, to your students that's definitely as well uh, something that you can do uh, you don't have of course to run all the time it can be about i don't know uh, throwing the javelin or uh, anything like this can even be higher jump I mean as far as you don't put uh, something uh, dangerous within your mouth such as the plastic and that you just put uh, the ropes uh, on your teeth it should be uh, all right and uh, should allow you to show great uh, great videos uh, tutorial thanks for watching